down here for Tua on third and six from the shotgun. Under pressure. Lost the football. And covered by a teammate, it appears, in the backfield. The loose football. All right, really nice rush by Dietrich Wise. And, well, that was so close. What a huge to make that connection work. On second and ten, and Tua goes down. Matthew Judon. Twelve and a half sacks. He's going to come inside, and the Dolphins, they just try to collapse on him. But he gets in there so fast, he's able to split the help. And then Tua has absolutely no chance. So I would say, you know, looking at Tua under pressure and couldn't get rid of it, lost the football. The runner was ruled down by contact. Fourth down. So Jawan Bentley's recovery goes for naught. And yep. his knee was down. Left knee was down, but that's <laughs> two times. Uh, that ball in dangerous territory. I know he's trying to make something happen. He's trying to throw the football to maybe get it out of his hands. But, you know, right now the only... 161 yards and eight touchdowns. Fake it. Trubisky. Brought down. Trubisky waited too long. Christian Barmore. That's in there for Pittsburgh. From the gut. Trubisky in trouble. Trubisky is sacked at the 18-yard line. Watch the two of them there. And then Julian Tavaye, number 48, a linebacker who's a very good run defender, ends up getting the sack as a result. 15 seconds to play in this first half. Trubisky steps up. Eight seconds left. Trubisky could not break away from Judon. Matthew Judon was a sack machine last year. Three-time Pro Bowler, and he brings down Trubisky. And it looked like Trubisky was trying to beat him in a race to the sideline, felt like he could not, and was trying to circle back and get away. Robbins, season debut, 27 for the Ravens, is Jackson out of a clean pocket. Bills to his right, runs away from Judon and gets pushed out of bounds. More pressure. Jackson slides up and goes down. Dietrich Wise gets to him. Dietrich Wise just kind of gets on that upfield shoulder and then gets square. Six-year man out of Arkansas, named a team captain for the first time this year. I mean, this guy's playing more than 90% of the snaps, which is an extraordinary number for a deal. Get him that football as opposed to just throwing it to him. Got eight yards on that shovel pass. Jackson sacked for the second time by Dietrich Wise. You got to help your tackle out. And I'm going to put this on J.K. Dobbins because you know the situation out there at left tackle. So watch right here. You got to check your guy. I mean, this is Dietrich Weiss. He's already got one sack. Just a bad set coming off. Daniel Falele is beat immediately. You have to understand. And J.K. Dobbins just released to your outside. Help that young guy coming off the edge. Don't go up inside. He's got a guard. He's coming off. He's got a touchdown to Devontae Parker over the top. Ravens back on offense. Jackson given time. Tight coverage downfield. Has him scrambling. Wise has tormented him early on and plants him again. Third time Dietrich Wise has dropped Lamar Jackson in the backfield. Uh, he's just, yeah, there's a little chip by Patrick Ricard. It gets him back on to Daniel Falele, or Falele. But there's the hustle. Now, you mentioned, what, 90% of the plays? Yeah. And 90% of the plays, that's how he's playing the game. I mean, he's got a high motor along with those 90% snap rates. And the Feel bad for Brian with that. Hopefully he's fine. Third and nine. Rodgers covered up, surrounded, and Judon will get credit for the sack. That means he's got a sack now in all four games this season. Yeah, on the top of your screen, he's going against Jenkins and just does a club underneath, a rip through, and just effort, and he's just... He's outstanding. I mean, over and over again, he's very active. They move him around a ton. 
It must get to the 24 for a first down. Goff in trouble. Down he goes. What a season it has been for Matthew Judon. Loss of nine on the play. Judon with a sack in all five games. Yeah, watch Judon going up against Taylor Decker. Goes right around him. And what I love, he uses Taylor Decker's leverage against him. As soon as he got the edge of Taylor Decker, he's going to yank and pull and then swipe his way back to the inside. Nice way, turning the hoop and getting that sack. Must get to the 23 for a first down. Goff. Under pressure, lost the football, Patriots recover. It's in the hands of Kyle Duggar, and he will take it all the way for a New England defensive touchdown. Hey, this all starts with Judon going up against Pene Sewell, who's actually been doing really, really well all season long. And the effort of Judon to track him down, not only track him down, make sure he goes after the football, gets the ball out, and Kyle Duggar does the rest. Second sack for Judon. And then Duggar returns it. As the third quarter is winding down, not a lot of time to get it done. Seven defensive backs, they're after him. They couldn't bring him right there with Wilson. And then Wilson got back up and brought him down. IR, Wilson comes up with a sack right there. First of the season for him, second of his career. Well, just nobody downfield. As soon as Brissett scrambles to the right, there's a receiver about 60 yards downfield on the right side. They rush eight, including Duggar. Look out, Wise got him. Ball is loose. Was it thrown or is it a fumble? Out of bounds. It's batted by Donovan Peoples-Jones. And again, Dietrich Wise comes through. Kevin, that's the flag. You said batted it out of bounds, and that's the penalty that comes in late. Yes. Percent got to know, has to know that the, the pocket is going to be collapsing around him. Can't take that long. Got to get the ball out of his hands. So plenty of time at eight minutes to go. Second 11. Messy pocket. Down he goes. Hit on the play and brought down on the play. Fins a year ago, third sack for the defense today, number one for Godshaw this season. Well, that pocket collapsed, three and a half to go. Well, and the Browns are going to have to get healthy as quickly as they can. That ball, that ball is in and picked up on the play, grabbed by the big man Davis, stiff arming his way to the 10, and he rumbles his way down to the nine. He's going to keep no. that. And the pressure, Judon and Godshaw, and the ball just came out. He wanted to hold the ball and reel it back in. He and did. it bounced around, and it was picked up, reeled in by Carl Davis. Vacuums it in. I want you in my belly. <laughs> they roll him out to his right again. Nothing there. Comes back. And down he goes. Ball comes out, but out of bounds. Matthew Judon was the first there for New England and a loss of 10. Yeah, it's just not it's just not very good play there by Justin Fields. You get outside the pocket. There's nothing there. Just throw it away. You, I mean you don't lose the yardage and you don't get hit. But fortunate to have lost the ball and have it go out of bounds but just a lot of bad things at the end of this play by Fields. Second and five. Fields keeps Judon chasing him. Third down coming up. Second and six after the four yard run by Fields and he is sacked. Judon again. What a half for number nine. Well, Larry Borum, the right tackle, he's not getting any help. He's expecting Judon to come to the outside. Instead, he puts his foot in the ground and gives a speed rush inside. Pretty good move there by Judon. And, and what, what a year he is having. Two and a half sacks in this first half. He's got eight and a half for the year. First down here. Fields flushed out again. Balls out. Fields wow. recovers. 
And Judon is there again. Wow. The, you know, you want to score a touchdown. They've got all three timeouts. They can, you can run the football. And, and if you're going to throw it, that's fine, too. But you, you, as your quarterback can't do this. And, you know, that's, we've seen that now a couple times tonight where, you know, it, it, it's great when it works. And it, and it worked there on the prior play. Anthony Jennings, who missed all of last year with an injury after flashing as a rookie, made that play. What? You okay? Yeah. No, it, it, he knocked it out. What am I watching here? Did not see that coming, and Chicago had a tough one today with Dallas. And Wilson walks into a sack. Lawrence Guy. First sack of the day for New England. Patriots have put constant pressure on Wilson, but this is the first time they actually brought him down. There's guy 93 there working. And then uh, you see where the guard had left guy to go and try and pick up the next imminent threat. Carter in the backfield. Wilson. Look out! Wilson gets crunched by Uche. And the clock continues to move down to 2.10 remaining. 55, Uche, remember he was offside on one of those and Carter tried to. As we all know, he's really struggled this year. Ellinger well, gonna throw on first down. No, he's gonna pull it down and we're brought down before he can reach the line of scrimmage. Matthew Judon starting this week. Tied for the lead in sacks in the NFL. Yep, this time Judon who's lining up on the left side. He's gonna run a game inside. He's gonna set it up come inside and the Colts at right side of the offensive line they cannot filter through that and Judon who is uh, you just put him in did a really nice job we'll see if they find anybody worthy of a double on this offense going down and once again Matthew Judon well this is the same same thing on the other side they did this in the exact play the first the first time and you know that's the right guard there you know Matt Pryor has got to be able to see that you know it's very rare when a defense can run basically the same style of pressure you know that quick Hellinger going down looked like Jawan Bentley in the middle of that sack running the game he's going to come up and then he's going to come underneath they keep attacking the center and the right guard and they haven't had a, 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 an answer for that game you see quentin nelson he tries to peel back late but they are relentless at going out time running down on the play clock and the snap and ellinger under pressure and down he goes josh uche the first to hit him he's going to be able to clean it up so this time both of their pass rushers being able to work on the tackle. Uche makes it with speed, Judon with power, and Uche's been able to clean up Ellinger and get it. Ellinger on the move, and he's gonna run for the sideline and gets bumped out of bounds by Josh Uche. What he saw, he tries to get to the right, and there's nowhere to go. So really well done by the Patriots to get off the field. Here's a big third and eight. Ellinger stepping up and is going to get hit. Josh Uche. Coming off one side and Ellinger feels that so he has to step up. And there's Uche on the other side. He doesn't go up the field. It's almost as if he's just waiting. And just Ali Cox a big target here at the bottom as well. Under pressure and he goes down. Guess who? For a second, and then he doesn't see Judon. Is Judon is so fast off of the corner that he has no chance to beat him. It was just a line straight to the quarterback, and just a little hesitation from Jackson. And Judon is having one heck of a foot. Ellinger can't go that way. Can't go that way. Oh my god! Can't goodness. go anywhere. Disciplined by the Patriots pass rush. I mean, they completely boxed him in. There was nobody there. He couldn't escape right. He couldn't escape left. 
And then you got Tavai. He's able to come inside and just close it down. And you know, Dietrich Wise is able to clean it up. This really a well played game. All up what they did last week. I thought it was a good start. Greg. Ellinger going down again. Greg, I thought it was a good start. I think it's been really tough to, to evaluate because of, of things like this, the pressure that he's been under. You know, when you're sacked and you get, you know, the quick pressures, you know, what is that, nine? Crumbling pocket. Here comes Judon. Banged in there as he was hit by Matt Wilson. First sack. Heavy pressure from Bentley and Judon and Mac Wilson, and down he goes, sacked on the play. Here comes the Jet punting in it. A loss back to the 28. Well, I, I like the fact that they're rushing four, but then Watts, they're going to mirror, and they're trying to see, okay, we don't want Zach Wilson to get out of the pocket, right? If he starts to scramble, we want to have someone there to take off and run. Now, all of a sudden, you see the commitment there, and then you go after and make the big hit. First play, fourth quarter, into the wind, Zach Wilson. Here they come, Judon, another sack. Down he goes. A loss back to the 25. Judon's going to be lined up to the outside, and he works all the way across. A big stunt. Watch, he's going to come around. Both guys rush upfield. Judon went one step, and then he works to the inside. Nowhere for Wilson to go. Judon has both New England sacks today. And now 13 for the season, crawling his way to the top of the leaderboard. Said multiple times, if you're Zach Wilson, don't get too frustrated. Carter the block, and here comes a sack. And it's loose and picked up on the play by Godshaw. That is a defensive touchdown for New England. And a big one it was, another one in this one. Duggar gets it. First sack of the season. We just talked about time uh, turnovers, and turnovers have been a theme for the P6 first time they play. Third and 13. Here comes the pressure, hit by Wise, down he goes. Uche came in there too, but Dietrich Wise gets the fourth sack for the Patriot defense today, and a combined 10 sacks with these two defenses this afternoon. Well, Uche, the last time they played was against the Colts, and he had three sacks in that game to go along with Matthew Judon's three sacks. So the pressure that he and Wise are able to put on Zach Wilson, third and long, you got to hang on to the ball to try and push it up the field. Just nothing there. At this point, even though they're down three to start the fourth. On second down, Cousins is hit and does a wow. great job holding on to the ball as the former Michigan Wolverine, Josh Uche, gets in for the sack. This is Uche rushing off the left side, and he's going against Blake Brandle. Inside move, no help. And this is what we talked about. Normally, that's Derisaw over there. We don't have to help that guy. And uh, it hasn't showed up until now. Big rush, big play. 15. Stepping up, stepping away, in trouble now. He had tackled at the line of scrimmage. Josh Uche was there. Pressure was put on again from Judon coming from the other side. It will be third down and 15. And now you, you and I both talked about Quesenberry being an interesting matchup, you know, right here and just trying to get out of his stance. Talked about how maybe he's not feeling 100%, but obviously he loses his balance, makes it pretty easy for Uche to flush. Josh Allen out of that pocket. More importantly, a good job by the entire defense. Eyes on the potential threat. Number 13, he backs up. Gives Diggs a lot of room. Allen loses the ball. And the Patriots with Judon coming up with it with the recovery. Exactly what they needed. Uche came in. Mismatch because of the quickness, especially in obvious passing situations. How about the bend? And that was beautiful. I mean, he's quick. He's got great speed and burst. But to bend to get around Quesenberry, and then instead of worrying about the sack, he gets that right hand to jar that ball loose. Beautiful from the Michigan third-year player. Meanwhile, 15 that we called. The teams have had a hard time running the football against them. Here's a sack. Brought down is Colt McCoy in the backfield. And the first guy there 
was Lawrence Guy. Judon was in there as well on a loss of five to bring up third and long. Yeah, they keep Connor in. He's going to try to secure things. And then as he steps up, there's a little game up front by Matthew Judon. And he comes around and nobody there then to pick it up. But with all the changes that Arizona has had in that offensive line. Goals. McCoy brought down from behind and a flag on the play. Nine right here. Pretty good call, pretty easy call to make. And but yeah, Uche, one of those guys who's who's really on third down. McCoy is sacked. Brought down by Equale. Guard number 72. He's the one who got the start tonight with Rashad Coward down and Equale makes a couple nice plays there on that drive and he finishes it off here on third down with a sack just goes right through Ford and eight. play action Judon comes across and adds to his pile of sacks here in 2022 what a year what a two-year run for Matthew Judon <laughs> I'll say he comes unblocked. He gets up the field, and knowing that Colt does, when you come off that play fake, you're immediately expecting that that's what you're going to run into, but Colt just unable to. Judon fires Boy, off the edge. Did. did not bring down McCoy, but his teammate did. Uche, he gets another. And the fifth Patriots sack of the game. I saw what you saw, Joe. Judon, he could not have timed this any better coming off the line of scrimmage. But it's because of Judon and the pressure that he was able to get right away on McCoy. I mean, he just times it up perfectly. He goes right upfield, gets to McCoy, and then as McCoy scrambled from him, Uche cleans him up. This defense for the Patriots taking advantage of this injury riddled offensive line for Arizona on his way off the field third down and seven and this will be another sack and it's Uche again that's his third and sack number six by the New England defense well both these tackles Judon's there as well and there's just nowhere for Colt McCoy Uche he just bull rushes Beach him out there at right tackle, but Judon working against Josh Jones on the opposite side, he gets right back into McCoy's lap as well. So if Uche doesn't make the play, Judon. The touchdown today. Second down and eight. Carr in trouble. Down he goes. Back at the 38 yard line, and the Las Vegas native returning home, Lawrence Guy, celebrates. Yes, he and Devon Godshaw really wrecking havoc getting into the backfield and you know there's only so many times you can run these play actions and let Derek Carr sit back there in the division would we'll play him twice a year third down and seven Carr wrapped up down he goes Jawan Bentley Josh Uche in there as well and it really starts with Josh Uche Watch how he just bends around Colton Miller, and that's really something he's really finding in his ability. Our ability to neutralize Marcus Jones will be important. He's done that. Carr taken down. Back at the 29, Josh Uche, the reigning AFC Defensive Player of the Week, came into this game with 10 sacks in his last six games. Has another one. Sack number 11 for Uche and I just love the way that he uses his physical abilities. He reminds me of Matthew Judon because he loves to use that bull rush straight on that offensive tackle gain control and gets right inside for the sack along with Christian Barmore. Pearl is putting on a clinic 15 of 19 182 yards two touchdowns. He's sacked. Couldn't break away from Judon. 15 and a half sacks on the season from Matthew Judon. And the best pass rushers, they don't just have one move to get to the quarterback. They will have the next extra one to finish. Look at that. 
He was going upfield shoulder against Jonah Williams. Since, since Burrow trying to climb the pocket, made the second move, the counter move, to come inside and collect Burrow for the sack. Judon came in. But when they recovered, just went right back to him. Burrow in some trouble. He sacked. Back of the 19-yard line. Protection didn't hold up. Josh Uche, who has been a sack machine for the New England Patriots. Uche, 11 and a half sacks in his last eight games. And all of them now, think about this. His previous two years in the league, four sacks combined. I think good health, ability to practice each and every day. Just as Tom Brady was entering the picture. Bridgewater. Spin, big sack. Three New England players get there. Carl Davis was hungry, along with Christian Barmore. It's gonna take us to the two minute warning. Patriots deliver on defense as bridge nine point game. Wilson the motion man, Thompson, rush is coming. Thompson devoured at the 25 by Barmore. So you've got coming off both edges, Judon and Uche, and then watch the pocket collapse in the middle with Barmore and Dietrich Wise. That's called complimentary tandem rushing. And look at that, Jalen Waddle's signature getting a little extra on it from Christian Barmore, and he would know. They're really ready to go. Third and seven, Here comes pressure. Allen dancing around, and oh, somehow he's able to get away twice, but not a third time, as Wise has hold of him. Yeah, and this was, I thought he was actually going to get away at the end, but this is where I was talking about. Yeah, that pressure you just mentioned. It's just rare, and they have multiple guys, as you see, Uche come flying around is having a fantastic season on the opposite side and at the end of it you know this is a very we know this a Belichick is a very smart team as you get away I think with a little, a little face mask face mask up first this time it's third and six as he barks out the signals escapes the pocket oh he's taken down nice job wrapping it up equality able to get credit for the sack his second of the season. This is just really well done. See everyone up in there? Here's linebackers right here. But really, you're just trying to get guys inside one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what allowed Equali to kind of get that matchup, right? If those guys aren't standing up in there and popping.